It's official. Japan will host the games in the summer of 2021. They can't risk Japan becoming a melting pot for the spread of coronavirus. The IOC has made this decision and it wasn't taken lightly. With the billions of dollars spent to host the Olympics, there were a lot of key issues. Athletes weren't able to qualify to even compete because many facilities were closed down due to coronavirus. But the problem is, will athletes qualify next year because they qualified this year? They will have to retake the test, it is not known. Other things that are a factor are ticket holders. They'll have to wait and see if their tickets are valid for the next Olympics or they'll have to rebuy them. And that would be another nightmare. This first started with the Canadians pulling out. Once the Canadians pulled out, the Australians pulled out. The US Olympic teams as well threatened to ask for postponement. And we have currently 650 dead in Italy in one day. Spain is now at 1,700 people dead and Paris is almost on complete lockdown. It is a bad situation so Japan at this moment had no choice but to postpone the games. Usually, uh, this is wrong here in Tokyo, usually this uh, walkway is really bustling each and every day but uh, with the expression of um, distancing people are coming at different times so usually a million people go through this intersection every day but at this time early in the morning uh, people are taking different times to come to school and go to work and some people are also um, telecommuting so from home they're working so you can just see now this is usually a very busy intersection it might pick up in the day but a lot of people have scattered their shifts so they're working uh, from 9 o'clock or from 10 this is just before 9 in the morning so you can kind of get us a, a feel here it's just less people but again things will pick up in about an hour um, other things in Japan such as sports that the North American people can learn is uh, they have empty stadiums to finish their sumo tournament so their grand Yokozuno tournament uh, had a champion but he was uh, alone uh, with except for the um, referees and a match officials so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on so it's very different here in Japan and again this is usually Japan's one of Japan's busiest busiest intersections of course if I come um, on the train exits I can kind of see a lot more people to paint you a more packed society but definitely people are trying to take advantage of being able to come later in the day meanwhile in McDonald's and Starbucks overseas they've uh, reduced dining indoors and have takeout only here in Japan they're trying to take caution but if I went to a Starbucks now or McDonald's, you will see it's very packed. Um, that is actually a Starbucks over there. And there are people inside. So it's a very interesting situation. This is Wendy's and the Japanese version and they are open for breakfast. You can see this is their morning menu. This is Wendy's in McDonald's and open for business. Burger King will be open. They just did a renovation here. So they will be open for business at 10 o'clock. Please let us know what do you think about the Olympics being postponed to 2021. Let us know in your likes, comments, and please subscribe.